Well, hello Libra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Libra, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you today. This is going to be a love reading. If I see anything outside of love, I will definitely make sure I inform you of it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. This is going to be for Libra. Libra. All right, so Libra, first card I have for you here is the Two of Swords. I have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Libra, oh, I cannot wait to tell you. I cannot wait to tell you. Give me a second here. Libra. Wow. Libra. Wow. Uh, I do have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Libra, your reading looks really good. It really does. Um, I am going to um, basically start with what I personally feel is going to be still your future. I mean, I see what you may have experienced in the past. Absolutely. Because here with the four of cups, you know, this is a, I mean, it's a, it's a card that, you know, you, you feel bored or you're not exactly where you want to be with love. Okay. I feel like maybe there was a missed opportunity between you and someone, especially someone who you felt was very good looking and very charming, very attractive. All right. Um, I do believe that for some of you guys, you may have been stuck on someone <laughs> for a very long time. Um, but anyway, uh, I do see that you're not necessarily in the best position. Um, some of you are needing are at a crossroad here with this two of swords, um, needing to make some type of decision about a relationship, whether to call someone, whether to be with someone whether to take the relationship to a higher level of commitment. Either way, it's a decision. Some of you guys, you know, you could be in a relationship and it's very unfulfilling, okay? So we're talking about a decision if you want to stay or not. Either way, I do feel like you guys are going to be at a crossroad of some sort. Some of you guys are going to have more than one option. That's what the Two of Swords is basically about. But again, you know, and at this moment, I do feel like there's some discontentment that's going on. There's a disconnect in your love life. OK, I love the fact that the nine of cups came out in your position. That means you're going to get what you want. You may not see it. Right. The four of cups is making me feel like you guys really don't see that something major is going to come in here for you. Now, we just talked about how the four of cups is a sense of unfulfillment, but the nine is a literally the epitome of that. That's what the nine of cups is. It's a wish fulfillment, something that you're hoping and dreaming of will come. Whoever you're hoping for is coming in your reading. Whoever you're hoping for is coming in your reading. There's going to be this energy of feeling very satisfied in your relationship, okay? You're going to feel very satisfied in your relationship. Um, and I feel like this is mostly for singles. And the reason why I say that is because if you are indeed in a connection, I feel like there's been conversations about if this is right. Um, there's been conversations possibly about, you know, other people being involved or there's been problems and there's been an ultimatum you know, that has been presented, right? Um, so the thing is, again, I feel like you could be dealing with someone who hoped to, to be with you and want to be with you, but I feel like there is still some type of dissatisfaction for some of you who are in relationships or connection right now. But again, like I said, for those who are single, <laughs> there is someone that you are hoping and wishing for, and baby, you are going to get them. You are going to get them. You hear me? All right. And I love the fact that the tens talks about the ending of difficult situations. It's like painful endings, right? Some of you guys are healing from a heartbreak. Some of you guys will decide to actually break up with someone. You know, that's just the reality of things. Okay. Some of you are still in this place of feeling um, a little sad because it could have you could have already broken up with somebody. You you may be at at a separation with someone right now, and it still hurts. But I like the fact that the ten is here because the ten talks about 
you know, those feelings of pain is going to be ending. But we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. If you've been single for a while, when I tell you there is going to be somebody who's going to come in your life, you are going to be just like, this is going to be like chef kiss. You're going to really like this person. You know, it, it's like the way that they smell, the way that they look, the way that they move, their mannerisms. You're going to really like this person. And truly what you have experienced and felt about relationships and other people, it's going to be the thing of the past. This four of cups is going to be a thing of the past. It's not going to be something that's going to be coming to your memory because you are definitely going to get what you, you've been dreaming of. So let's go ahead. Let's get the two of swords here for Libra. Two of swords. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, by the way, everything is down below. Okay. Mm, look at this. I only wanted two cards, but three came out. Let's just get it. Wow. I'm going to be honest. Uh, for a lot of you, you you know, it either now or there's some issue here where you know for a fact that something isn't working and you have to make a decision to cut someone off. We saw that with the Queen of Swords that just came out. I told you, like I knew for a fact for those who were dealing with somebody um, that you may have to cut somebody off. You're not getting it. You, I don't care if you've been with this person for 10 years. This is not giving you what you want. This is not fulfilling you. You know, it feels very like, it feels very third grade and you have entered the university. You want the strong kind of love. You want the real kind of love. And for a lot of you, yeah, okay, they may have been a soulmate of yours, but I feel like now the time is up. I do feel like for a lot of you, you are going to be cutting someone off. That is exactly what I feel. I feel like there's going to be a new beginning here. Um, that This particular role, though, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, for those who are dating, it's going to be very clear who's for you and who's not for you. You're going to tell by their actions. You're going to tell about their interest. Like you're going to know if they're interested in you. They're never going to leave you guessing. They're never going to, you know, make you feel like, you know, well, are they going to call me or are they not going to call me? And you will come across some of those people if you're dating. You're going to cut them off with the quickness because you do not have time for that. You know that, you know, just based on the behavior and because of what you've experienced with past people that you're not about to waste your time. OK, <laughs> so you're not going to get stuck on that. OK, um, but you're going to have options and there is definitely going to be someone who, who you're going to be fancying, period. OK, but just be just be aware, though. You got to keep your eyes open because you are going to be dealing with some people who are going to be moving too fast. They're going to be promising a lot. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're going to switch up on you real quick. Right. They're going to give, you know, tell you everything you want to hear. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're not even calling you, you know, or texting you anymore. You're going to experience that type of behavior. OK, <laughs> so just know that. Um, but your Prince Charming or your your princess or whatever, they are definitely coming. OK, let's go ahead. Let's get this um, nine of cups. This is for Libra. You got different people who really want you here. Wow. You're really going to have a choice between people. And I feel like truly some of you guys are going to have really good options. It's not going to be, you know how sometimes you may have, and, it, and it's true. You're going to be dealing with people who are just not on your level. But for some of you, you really are going to have two people who are really going to be some good catches. Okay. <laughs> I don't really see that too often in readings, but with this one, it's going to be like, there's two different people that are really good catches, okay? And so you're going to have to make a decision based on just behavior and based on the people that you have chemistry with and that you're feeling. But your reading looks really good, okay? Like the universe is really giving you in abundance what you really desire, right? So I am seeing that. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. The single people, you're on point. Your, your reading is on point. Okay, I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> your reading is on point here. Let's get one more. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Look at this. Oh, my God. So, you know, I am going to tell you, for a lot of you, you've been really waiting on a soulmate to come in. You've been really waiting for someone to come in. 
And you're going to be bombarded by lovers, bombarded by people who are so interested in you because they find you to be so attractive. And it almost feels like you are exactly what they've been waiting for. You are their wish. You are their desire. Okay. That's exactly what this looks like. And I'm not schmoozing you guys. You guys already know I don't schmooze people on my channel. I really do not. I feel like this is a time where true love and connections are really going to be happening. That's just what I feel. Okay. And I really do see that um, someone coming in here for some of you, for some of you, you, you're going to meet this person before the end of the year. OK, I really do see that. I'm not saying, that you know, you guys are going to just get married next year. I feel like you may meet this person, but, you know, the, the person is very they take their time to get to know you and you should take your time to get to know them. But I, I feel like this person may come in here before the end of the new year. OK, Um let me talk about, let me, let me again, talk to those who are in relationships. Do you want this or you don't? There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of arguments. There's been a lot of trust issues. And so, you know, it's going to be a decision that you guys are going to have to make when it comes down to love and romance. You know, is this the person that you want to live, you know, live the rest of your life with, or you want to be with for the next 10, 20 years? You have to make that choice. But there's a lot of trust issues if you are in a committed relationship. And I feel like you guys have talked about it. And there is ultimatums here, I'm telling you. So again, it's a decision that you're going to have to make here. Let's go ahead. Let's get the star card for Libra. Some of you guys got someone from the past that's about to come back up in here. <laughs> they want you. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I mean, wow. Libra, you could be dealing with someone who's an earth sign, by the way. There is, oh my God, there is something. When I tell you there is someone coming in here that's going to be so healing, they're going to be healing you. Just their presence and their energy is just going to be so healing. Oh my God. And this really is from the heavens because, you know, um, the queen of the queen of pentacles really talks about someone being very grounded and it's hitting the star card. Uh, and it's just, this, this is just so good. This is so good. And I love the fact that I can tell that both of you guys like each other just based on a nine of cups and just in a in a star card, right? <laughs> like you both like each other a lot. And there's going to be some very deep feelings for one another. Look at this. The moon card and then the two of cups. Oh my God. I do see though that for some of you. Somebody is wrapped up in some type of karmic. Like there's somebody still hanging around that maybe it's hard to let someone go, even though they know it's over with and they know it's over and done. I do feel like I do feel like the for some of you, you're going to have you're going to meet the person that is, you know, meant to be in your life. But for some odd reason, they're still there's still this mystery and still an issue where I feel like you're going to meet this person. But with the moon card. Let me see why this is coming out, because I definitely see that there's going to be a real love, a real love connection here. But I feel like there's still a problem. Let me see. Not for all of you, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Attachment is going to be an issue either on your end or your person's end. I feel like there is real love here, but there could be somebody out, you know, someone who still can't let you go. Or if you're dating someone, there is someone who is very much so still attached to your person and don't want to let your person go. So that could be the issue. But I do see that your person is like really feeling you. But I do feel like there's, I don't know, I feel like there's a problem here. And I'm not saying this is going to be for everybody. I'm just looking at, you know, some issues that, yeah, some issues that you guys may experience. For those who are in a long term, I'm just going to be honest here. I know you are used to your person. I know you guys have maybe built some things. 
But emotionally, even if you're separated, I do feel like finally you're going to be able to release those emotions and feelings of, of hurt. And if you're still together, I feel like there's going to be some secrets that are going to be exposed here. I feel like you guys are going to find something out possibly during this new moon, something that you're going to find out. So for those who are in a connection, this, this, this looks a little shaky here. But for those who are dating, I just feel like take your time. Take your time because history is playing a role in your dating life where, you know, there is someone that really, really has feelings for you, someone who really likes you. But, you know, I feel like there are some things that have to get, you know, squared away. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Ten of, ten of Swords here for Libra. So things have to get squared away. So, yeah, take your time. And this is not going to be for everybody, but I did see that there. Stay optimistic about your love life because some of you guys are not, right? Um, Four of Cups is coming out, hitting that Ten of Swords. Some of you guys are just not optimistic. I do feel like for some of you, there's some just frustration you've been experiencing in love. And you could still go through some type of frustration and misunderstandings. Um, but stay optimistic because I'm telling you, there is definitely going to be a love connection here. It is. It's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> it's going to happen. All right. Yeah. And I do feel like there's going to be, um, you know, a reciprocal connection. This is really the storyline really is about people who are already connected in some kind of way with somebody else. I'm just going to be honest. The storyline really is about that. The new, I mean, the people who are single, your reading looks really, really good. Um, but for those who are connected to somebody, I'm telling you right now, it is something here. Something is really up where I see that there's about to be some disruptions. Um, there's going to be some disruptions here. Because someone isn't paying attention to their partner and, you know, it's, 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 it's rearing his ugly head. That's what I'm saying. OK, uh, but this is what I have for you here, Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And again, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that is below. Libra, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.